world of YouTube about you here with some new data on my Clinton uh, ghost stories. Not only down the road here, as you go past this power line and to the left, I mean the right on this little hill lays the uh, Clinton train tunnel. Which there used to be a bridge that ran right along this um, little water uh, reservoir down here. I don't want to call it a reservoir, but but I got a new person commenting me on my video and telling me he's a long lifer from Clinton, Mass. Has given me some stories to research, and this is one of them. And this is going to be extending my Wachusett Valley Triangle. And that is similar to the Bridgewater Triangle. Now, as you can see here today, the freaking gates are locked. Usually you can uh, go out here during the summertime and enjoy the view, but you can just imagine... <laughs> How it would look down here back in the day. And supposedly they did. I don't. I gotta look and research on this dam. If anybody wants to research it themselves. Supposedly down here below this. And as you can see, the reservoir over here. Dam here. Down here. This is uh. Similar to the Lost Valley video I have up. It's called the Lost Valley. You want to check it out. And the Quabbin Reservoir used to be a legit town. And they literally demolished it. And just like the Lost Valley. I forget the uh, name of it. But like I say, look up my video Lost Valley and you will find it. Or what not to go on my YouTube channel. Terrible sight. But in that valley. Not only did they demolish a town. Full running operating town. With at least 2,500 people in it. Plus. Gone history. Just to make the Quabbin Reservoir. You know. Not going and surveying other land. Throughout the, these areas. I mean. To make a water supply. You know. I mean, there could have been alternatives, and I don't think they've searched. But then again, you got this here of Clinton, of taking out land that could have been people's homes. And what else? No, rather, no other than a cemetery. Bodies moved. So, I mean, not only are these, you know, throughout the, the state of Massachusetts... You know, tearing up graves, moving graves. I forgot the name of the cemetery too, but I will be taking a video there. In every other place this new person has located for me. Because he's <laughs> literally been living in this town, like I said, all his life. I thank him very much. And like I say, my brother, if I get off to a start on these videos, man. I mean, you helping me, I will give a payback. In some form to you but yes graveyard moved literally so it just goes to show why these lands throughout Massachusetts is just so haunting and who knows who was buried and you know like I say back in them days of them of the 1800s when people you know, was sick and dead or in their bed or whatnot. And if they didn't fully die, like I say, back in them days, there was no way of telling if they were dead or not. I mean, yeah, they did in the 1800s, I believe, started using the old mirror method when mirrors were made. If you put the mirror under the person's nose and it, you know, fogs up, oh, they're still breathing, oh, they're still alive and blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, you couldn't determine sometimes if they were living or not. Not even by taking, I don't even think they even knew how to take a pulse. But, yeah, people got buried alive, literally. And uh, when people died and got buried places, you know, unwantingly, 
People used to go fucking dig them up and whatever and crazy shit that still occurs and happened in the past. And man, I'm just here to undocument, uh, to document it all and get it going. Like I say, I got now I know why this area, Clinton in this part, due to the tunnel down there and over here now, gets oh and I forgot along this route. If you travel at the right time, it's probably got to be the right time at night. If you get yourself a little hitchhiker along this route, you might happen to hop in the car. Be prepared for it to be disappearing down the road on you. The, this person has also told me about that. And that believe, that is where it now it all leads to my Wachusett Valley Triangle. Because the Bridgewater triangle as Indian spirits has Bigfoot sightings the only thing my triangle don't have yet is a sighting of the Thunderbird other than that there's a hitchhiker in the Bridgewater Triangle if you look that up on the web they'll give you all details and what you read I can guarantee will almost match up to my triangle and there's been a lot of things I've been documenting Oh my God, and what I've been finding, like I said, I gotta get a map of around this area from Wachusett Mountain, which if you look along the horizon here, Wachusett Mountain would be pretty much out in this distance, like heading like north or whatever. Yeah, north, that way. And a triangle, I mean, would come down and square off and just zip back up through the lemons the area where my videos are taken and stuff there like i said oh my god the things i've been finding and now this and i thank this guy very much for coming out with these stories i mean i mean there's a couple houses here i gotta search into look into due to being haunted and it's just insane just insane and the American bald eagles have been around here, as I can see. And yes, I have seen that at the Wachusett Mountain one day. I didn't get a picture or video of him because he literally flew off too quick on me. But he literally flew in my driving direction over my truck. And I was driving one day, and it was like a awesome sight to see. And even also, like I said, the raven, the hawk, all been <laughs> literally coming into my life and <laughs> I've been seeing them and I think I just saw one down the way there if you can see the pitch of a building he was flying it was a hawk over there flying so I mean there's a lot of things man that oh god that I've been uncovering and now people have been going on my videos and giving me some more stuff which is good because now my triangle's getting bigger and like I said oh, here we go. I think there might be crows, but even the crows have a purpose in the old Indian life. They had an Indian tribe in uh, up a state New York called the Crow Tribe. And they're out there. <laughs> and this is what I've been coming up with. But you can just imagine these waters, anywhere where the waters, reservoirs, and like there's another one anywhere where you see these dwellings even the mountaintops where the Indians used to hide and you know the lookouts and en route to Mount Wachusett the great mountain they worshipped it's all in there all of my videos and now this is a new part of it and like I said oh man I'm gonna have be having your videos and hopefully <laughs> becoming a full time job on this cause I'll be traveling to everything to Big dark secrets hidden beneath it all. And the ghost hunting and stuff. Boy, I can just imagine what roams down there in them lake. In that lake. Pond type thing. But, once again, YouTube Nation. Many more videos to come. The Wachusett Reservoir. Which is within my Wachusett Valley Triangle. Getting bigger. So, until the next video, YouTube Nation. Be safe, take care. Believe. <laughs> Believe. Here comes another crow.
They're all starting to fly around and stand in here. <laughs> that's a sign. Believe it or not, people, that's a sign. Until that next video. As you look here, why don't you drive by Route 70? The reservoir, the dam, the tunnel up over here on the hill away. Look at it different now. There used to be a dwelling of living down there in the cemetery. All my videos are going to make you look at things different these days. All you youngins, welcome to history. Till the next video, like I said a million times before. <laughs> Out.